Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I help businesses win government contracts. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to find and win IT and software government contracts. There are two different types of government contracts. You have federal government contracts and then you have state, local, and education government contracts, more known as SLED. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to find federal government contracts and SLED government contracts. So let's get into it. Okay, so to find uh, federal government contracts, your go-to website is sam.gov. I'm going to show you exactly how to navigate it. So first you want to click on search then once you come here you want to select domain and then you want to click on contract opportunities then you can filter by keyword search so here you can try for example and type in software in some cases you actually find government contracts uh, for software but in the case they don't have the keyword in the title or the description you might want to avoid missing out on some opportunities and i'll show you exactly how to navigate this issue then you can go to federal organization. If you have a specific organization you want to work with or you know you, they have a government contract for software or IT, you can type, type it in. So this could be US Army, NASA, stuff like that. In this case, we don't want that. And then here you can set the response deadline. So how much time you have before you have to submit a bid. Um, so if you want to give yourself some time, for example, a week, a month, or three months, you can come here and select that. But in this case, I'm going to leave it open. Um, and then you get to notice type. So this is very important. You want to come here and select special notice, sources sought, pre-solicitation, solicitation, compliance and opposites, and solicitation. This way you're making sure that the uh, opportunities you're looking for are not in the past, they have not, in, they have not been awarded, and they're uh, looking for uh, solicitations that are looking for people to submit bids, or pre-solicitation that comes maybe earlier on in the journey. But it's important that you consider those as well to develop relationship with the agency. Then when you come to product or service, what you want to do here is you want to select next code. So here's where you filter by software government contracts. Well, so what we want to do is we want to click on 541511. So that's a next code for customer computer programming services. So we add that. The next next code we want is 541512 which is for computer system design services. And then we want to add 541519, and that's for other computer related services. And for IT, what we want is 518210. That's for computing infrastructure providers, data processing, web hosting, and all related services. And then you want to select 541715. And that's for research, engineering, physical, uh, sorry, research and development in the physical engineering and life sciences. So this way you cover all potential next codes that could have government contracts uh, for your software and IT. Then if you're a small business, you might want to choose the set aside. So if you're if you're a small business or a woman owned business or an Indian owned business or veteran owned businesses, some contracts are specific for that group. So if you fall into one of these, you might want to select these set aside. So you can select total business set aside, for example. And then finally, if you care about the place of performance, in this case, since you're doing software, you're more likely do not care that much about uh, the place of performance. But if you're doing IT, you might want to work only in your state. So you can come here, for example, and select your state. So let's say you want to go, say you operate in California. Well, apparently, they don't have any software government contracting opportunities in California. But uh, you get the point. And that's basically it. You want to always verify that you are checking for active. You can come here and analyze these government contracts one by one uh, to see if they match what you're looking for. Obviously, you could remove this check, the keyword search. So you might find government contracts that don't have explicitly the word software in them, but they fall into the next code for software. So that's for the uh, for level. If you want to see uh, state, uh, local, and city education government contracts, what I've done is I compiled the list of all government contracting uh, websites for all the states, uh, all the ones that matter. And then depends on the state you want to work with. So for example, let's say and click on state of Texas. Um, I have the state's website listed here. So these are each one of the states and each one of the cities or local municipalities, sometimes universities and schools, they have their own procurement website. So you have to go and check for government contracts on there. So that's why when I want to kind of see state level government contracts in Texas, I have to go to their website. I'll have the Excel sheet linked in the description so you can always have it handy and check um, and check for government contracts uh, there. So here you have a list of all government contracts uh, for the state of Texas. What we want, we want to 
check the status to be posted. We do not want uh, that have been awarded in the past or have been uh, closed. And maybe here we can use keyword search and we can search for software and we can click on search. Okay. So as you can see here, we found a lot of solicitations for software government contracts. You can see this one is software maintenance. This one is transportation alternative e-grant management software solution. So you'll find a lot of these government contracts. You have to go through them, filter through them and see which ones uh, align with your business. Now, it, you might think it's a challenge to go through 250 of these websites plus the federal just to find government contracts. If you think this is an issue, I have a solution for you. What you can do is you can try samsearch.co. Samsearch is a government uh, website for uh, AI. It allows you to search for federal and state and local and education government contracts, provide summaries, so it'll make it way easier to understand uh, these contracts. So let's say we wanna search for federal, we can come here and just go and search software, for example and it will understand what we're talking about. Uh, so you could sp specify software licensing. If you're in SaaS, you can say software as a service. If you're in development, you can sp specify, for example, development. Uh, no matter how you type it, it will understand what you are talking about. And then with each one of these uh, government contracts, you'll get a summary uh, that explains clearly what, they, what the aim of the opportunity is. So this one is secure government software development ex expertise across all phases of software development cycle. So if this is something you're interested in, you could click on it and then you could look more into it. Same thing you could do with uh, state, local and education level. What you can do here is you can come here and filter by the state. So if you wanna work specifically in Texas, you can come here and select Texas um, and then you'll be able to see software development, uh, government contract opportunities in the state of Texas. Um, so you can see here and it covers all the municipalities and all the state, the local, and the education for Texas. If you want just the state, you can filter by that as well. But let's say let's say we, we, we found this one to be an interesting government contract. What we can do here is we can chat with it. So we can get more of an idea of what this is about without really reading through the description and the attachments. So what I'm gonna do here, for example, I'm gonna ask it, give me a brief uh, summary, this opportunity and important deadlines. So now what it's doing, it's reading through the description, all the information and the attachments to give me this summary. Okay, so they, we get an idea of what they want and it also highlights where it's getting this information from. So we see the, that it highlighted the source uh, with the attachments and then we have the deadline. So the award date is May 31st, 2025. And then you have base year of performance is uh, 25, 25 to 2026. And then we have the response deadline and then the option years after we get the contract for the first year. So we could say, what are the evaluation criteria? And we get a response that highlights the exact evaluation criteria. Artifacts are 95% user acceptance, acceptance testing. Uh, it highlights the minimum requirements, the contract deliverables, uh, ticket management. You can even ask it like a generate a compliance matrix, for example, compliance matrix. Have said give me compliance matrix, but it understands even if I said it the other way around. And here we have it, it generates a compliance matrix, and you can ask it all the questions you want just to get an idea uh, an easy way for you to say a bid or no bid decision. Uh, and then once you're ready, you can click here and generate a, an outline and then a proposal. Uh, you have to fill in obviously your company profile and we'll be able to generate a proposal for the uh, government contract opportunity you're looking on based on its requirements and your business profile. I hope this was helpful. You can get a seven day free trial link in the description for soundsearch.co and uh, like and share. Thank you so much.